Hey guys, what's up? It's Amina. So this video is probably so long overdue, but I'm still going to post it because I don't know. I want to start posting more on my channel. First things first, in honor of doing this type of video, I'm wearing my Habesha shirt. See? Which is so cute. Back in the beginning of this year, I went to Ethiopia for three and a half months. It was amazing. Okay. Like I loved being there and I still wanted to stay longer even, but had to come back due to work. My job was like, you can't stay any longer if you want to have a job when you come home. And I was like, okay, fine. Dang it. So in this video, I'm going to be answering questions that you guys asked me about my Ethiopia trip. What was your first impressions of Queen Desta and Ariella? I watched you guys vlog together. It looked so much fun. It was crazy because so many social media influencers or people were there. Like it was really the perfect time to be there. With Ariella, it was a little bit easier for me because we had already been friends for two years before that. So that was kind of more natural, I will say. With Queen Desta, I was more nervous to meet her because I had no contact with her previously. Most of you guys, if you're watching me, you've definitely seen at least one of her videos because she has so many videos on Ethiopia and really good videos too. Interviews with people a lot. Ariella and Desta are both super cool and super chill people. And actually they were both connecting about Kenya because if you guys know Ariella, she used to be in Kenya and Queen Desta is Kenya. So they had a little like Kenyan connection thing that I was like, I don't know what you guys talking about, <laughs> but that was so cool. Out of all of the holidays that you experienced in Ethiopia, which one was your favorite this trip? So uh, yeah, so I experienced Timkat. Today is Timkat. 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 experience Ghana. It's a Ghana. Today is Ghana. Ghana. Ghana in Ethiopia. Do you know how to walk here? <laughs> Her first time. He I don't wear heels. <laughs> 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 so hard. So hard. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Oh I experience Adwa. It is the Battle of Adwa <laughs> celebration today. In 2018, I experienced Fasica. Today's Fasica. Oh, yes. We all match. Amanu. <laughs> Happy birthday, Madagamira. Happy birthday. <laughs> So I've actually gotten most of the holidays except New Year's. I haven't I haven't experienced New Year's. I think the best one for me, and this might be kind of controversial, but the best one for me was probably Adwa because I love the spirit. I love the spirit of the people and seeing the people in the streets having so much love and pride for their country that as somebody who's not Ethiopian is very refreshing to see. So that was fun. And also in Adwa, that's where I got to, I hung out with Queen Desta, Mika from Swahili Nation. So I got to meet like a whole bunch of other, you know, YouTubers too. So I think that whole experience was just really fun and being a part of the crowd and singing and clapping. And I don't even know the words, but I'm trying to pretend like I know the words. <laughs> And me and Desta just had so much fun that day. So I would say that was probably the funnest one for me, but I have a feeling that if I ever experience New Year's, that that will probably be the best one. Next question is, has your um haddock improved? Yes and no. So because 
I was there for three and a half months, when I was there, it improved so much. When I'm telling you, like, I could understand what people say generally. And actually, like, I was communicating with people in Amharic. I say very basic things, but my point is that I think my pronunciation was good enough that I was tricking people in Ethiopia into thinking that I am actually Ethiopian. So it did get good, but... I kind of forgot a lot of it now because I haven't used it in a long time. And whenever you guys ask me when I'm live to talk Amharic, it's just like under pressure. I can't do it. I'm like under pressure. My brain is like blank, blank, blank. But if you catch me like you catch me in the streets, I'll be talking Amharic all day. <laughs> okay, the next question is what, was, what were some of your favorite restaurants in terms of Ethiopian food? I really liked, oh my God, I'm gonna forget all of the names of the restaurants now. Kazinia, Kazinia, Kazinia. What is the name of that? Kazinia. Katenia. <laughs> I was close. It's spelled K-A-T-E-G-N-A. -E Katenia is a really good Ethiopian food restaurant. Now, from my understanding, Ethiopian people say that that's really overpriced but I think as a foreigner like someone going into the country I think that's a good restaurant to go to because you'll get authentic Ethiopian food it's really delicious and you get a really beautiful ambiance like the culture and the vibe in there is very much so traditional so I like Katenia and for pizza Dubonera's pizza is really good for burgers Angla burger was my favorite A-N-G-L-A if I have pictures of any of the stuff, I'll put it. If you want to try like traditional Ethiopian bunna coffee, Tomoka is probably the most famous classical place. I think it's the first place that had coffee or something like that. So Tomoka, definitely try their coffee. It's good. I always get a macchiato. That's what me and Elias always get. Macchiatos in Ethiopia are amazing. So delicious. But you could try just regular coffee too if you're about that life. Now, Ethiopian coffee is nothing like American coffee. So if you're used to like US coffee, I would probably get a cappuccino or a macchiato first and then slowly work your way into Ethiopian bunna because it's very very strong if you're bougie and you want kind of like a really fancy schmancy experience sheraton hotel is really beautiful welcome to the sheraton this is the largest hotel in addis ababa and one of the most beautiful hotels as you can see just walking around it's really nice though <laughs> it is that's my brother ashu <laughs> 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 oh, there's another swimming pool. Oh my, look how big that one yeah. is. Yeah, it is. A big <laughs> one. That's huge. That's crazy. You, you want to pull me? Yeah, now I know. If you <laughs> bring them here, yeah. that will be the end of Super high class, super bougie, super beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so we're at Chinoli restaurant right now, and we're eating some food. Alright, now we just got our food. Let's go to the Chinoli restaurant. Now we just we got salad. We have Elias. Can you say hi, Elias? Hi, hi, Fatsami, hi, hi. Ashu, what's up? Dinish. Dinani. Dinish. That's fish fried rice. Elias, uh, beef noodles. Yeah. You already ate. I'm already full. How was it? Oh, really good. Very good. Yeah. Do you want to try my rice? What are you doing? Uh, All right. Mm -hmm. okay. Try it and see how is it? It's hot. Really good. Is it? Which one is better? This one is better. Mine is better? Really? Yay! I mean, they're both. Mm -hmm. They're both are good. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you want to try it for some? No? <laughs> How is that? Good? It's good. Very good, right? One more time. <laughs> you gotta finish it. Yeah, I will. Mm. So yeah, they said the owner of this place is actually a woman. And this is like a brand, so they, they have it all over Addis Ababa, right? Yeah. So, very delicious food. What, what is the name of this place? Chinoli Noodle. 
Channel Led, no doubt. Yes, yep. Channel Batam Gomez. Batam Gomez. <laughs> Batam Konjo. Batam Gomez. Batam 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 and you know what? I'm going to add where I did my Maddie, Manny and Petty because I constantly went to Rome Beauty Spa. And I constantly was there doing manicures and pedicures like all day. <laughs> so much more than I even do it here in the US because in Ethiopia, it is so cheap. Oh my gosh. It is so cheap to do manicure and pedicure. I was doing it so much to the point where the worker was like, <laughs> The worker was literally like, you gotta stop coming here and changing your nails because they're gonna crack because you've been doing so much. I swear to God, that's a true story. And I was like, okay. I was like, dude, it just feels so good. And like in Ethiopia, they don't rush your mani and pedi. Like you will literally be there. They will literally be like scrubbing your feet for an hour and it feels so good, you know? Why didn't you vlog as much this year? That's a really good question. So the truth about that was when I first got to Ethiopia, guys, and this this is something that I don't really love to share because uh, I'll explain in a second after I say what I say. When we first got to Ethiopia, actually, Elias got sick, really, really sick. And then he got me sick. Hi, Amina. Hi. What happened? Um, I'm on my Really? Finish. Oh, you're so miskin. You're supposed to enjoy the holiday. Paraday. Really? Hi, Josh. And we were in bed for two weeks. Yeah, anyways, I healed, guys. I'm okay. So I don't like to say stuff like that because people will get the wrong understanding and people will think that Ethiopia made me sick. No, that's not what happened. Just so you know, that's not what happened. We got sick traveling there. Anyways, we got healed in Ethiopia. And so because of the fact that we pretty much did nothing for the first two weeks, that's why I didn't have as much vlogs. And also because I'm I'm scared. No. <laughs> Laza. No, I'm not scared. It's just awkward. It's so awkward to vlog, especially in public. And the problem is that I look Ethiopian. That's the problem. Like if I looked like a foreigner, I think that's easier because people will just say, be like, yeah, that's a foreigner. They're taking a picture. That's normal. All right. But when you see somebody who looks Ethiopian, like people get really confused and they look at you really weird and they like stare at you and they're like, whoa. What are you doing? <laughs> when I say like, oh, I don't speak Amharic, like people will literally think that I'm trying to be high and mighty and like I'm acting like I can't speak Amharic. I'm like, no, no, like I'm Sudanese. I'm not Ethiopian. Like I had to explain that, you know? <laughs> like what? People do that? What? That is so weird. What hotel did you stay in? This is where we're going to be staying. It's called the Toedros Ballet International Hotel. Yeah, you, you pronounce it good. Yeah, here it is. Looks really nice from the outside. Toedros Ballet International. Kartashi? So you said. Oh, right. Oops. <laughs> Fourth floor. Fourth floor. Looks nice from the outside, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see how the room is. Let's see how the room looks. Room number. Don't tell them, they.
Ooh, it's so dark. Ready? Mm-hmm. All right. Hello. Welcome. Come inside. Come inside. Okay. So this is a quick overview of where we're going to be staying. And that little table right here. We have a table, little seating area right here. And then this is the bed, TV, and of course the dresser. Let's see outside kind of view we have. So this is the view that we have. Let's see the bathroom real quick. So have a nice, they call this a steam bath here. I think it's like, I don't know, a sauna or something. Here's the bathroom, toilet. Yeah, so looks pretty nice. Yes, so like we don't need it, you know, that much because obviously we're not going to be here that much. It's just for sleeping. We're going to be at Elias's family's house or just out doing stuff. What was the funnest thing that you did on your whole trip? I hands down zip lining in Antoto Park. So they have two things. They have like this rope course, which is also very fun. And it's made of different rope obstacles. But basically you kind of like walk along the rope. You do a little like zip lining, this, that. So much fun. Tires that are in the air. Watch my video of that. Like it's so much freaking fun. I've never even done anything like that in the US. But the funnest thing, holy cow, zip lining on top of the freaking mountains over the water, thousands of feet in the air, guys. So much fun. Oh my gosh. I was flying. You guys know me. Like, I'm a pilot and I love airplanes. I love flying. And I was like, woo! Like, I was flying. It was so much fun. Nobody else wanted to do it because they were all too scared. And it was the funnest thing I've ever done in my life. You know, in that second... I, in, in that time frame, I even remember I was like, like so excited and so happy. And Elias is like, yeah, you're definitely American. <laughs> He's like, you were way too happy and excited about this. Like, I don't know. I love like thrilling things, you know, it was very thrilling. <laughs> I really wanted to rock climb against Elias and beat him because he thinks that I won't beat him. He underestimates me. He doesn't know these long legs, okay? <laughs> But yeah, next time, next time we're going to do rock climbing. So this is a good question. I'm confused. If you're not Ethiopian, how did you go and visit your family while you were in Ethiopia? I'm not Ethiopian, but I do have an Ethiopian shirt on. <laughs> I love confusing people because I constantly am like wearing Ethiopian clothing. I'm not Ethiopian. I'm Sudanese, which is kind of the same thing. And I have a Sudanese uncle who married a Habesha Ethiopian woman. Her name is Burtukan. Shout out to you, Burtukan. It's really that simple. So he actually like bought a house in Addis Ababa. And I have two little cousins, Sarah and Jamila, blood cousins in Ethiopia, which is so cool and so exciting because now I can say I actually have family too in Ethiopia. It's not just visiting Elias's family. It's also visiting my own family. So yeah, it was kind of like a little family reunion in, in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia of my father's side of the family. When I met up with my uncle, we actually went to a Lebanese restaurant in Addis Ababa. I'll put a little clip of that because I actually was on the stage dancing. Then they, they kind of ended that they were like hating on us. They were like, you can't record in here. I don't know why. <laughs> The next question is, what did you do for your birthday in Ethiopia? Happy belated. So this trip, by the way, so many things happened. It was my birthday in January and also Elias's brother, two of them had birthdays in January. Then on February 12th, it was me and Elias's 
seventh year anniversary. And then February 14th was Valentine's Day. And then it was Adwa. And in the beginning, I forgot, it was Timkit and Ganna. There was so many events and holidays and celebrations. But for my birthday, actually, that night was really fun. I got to see some cool singers that I've seen on YouTube. For example, the guy who sings Al Guitar Do Have You You know, you know that song, Al Guitar? Yeah, he's the Ethiopian singer that sings like Sudanese music. I got to see him live and he performed his famous song. <laughs> Which was really cool and he looked exactly the same as the video too which was crazy because that video was like 10 years old i was like whoa th this guy didn't even age like one day it was the funnest birthday i've ever had in my life i'm not even exaggerating you guys you guys i know you guys think i'm lying how much i hype up ethiopia but i swear to god it was the funnest birthday i've ever had in my life I guess so many flowers, like huge, huge bouquets of flowers. I got multiple cakes, you know, it was just like crazy. <laughs> okay, the next question is, Amina, did you ever try Tre Siga? Tre Siga. Yes, I did try Tre Siga. And so for those of you guys who don't know what that is, it's just raw meat. I did try that in Ethiopia and actually it's not as bad as you think it would be. If it's properly butchered and cleaned, there's nothing to fear actually. And I did have it in Ethiopia and it didn't really taste like anything to be honest. The texture is more weird than the taste because the taste is kind of bland. You can dip it in like berbere and spices and stuff to give it some flavor. But I'm talking about the flavor of the meat itself. It doesn't really have a flavor. It's just the texture part that you kind of got to get past. <laughs> what hotel did you stay in when you went to Bishoftu? When we go to Ethiopia, we try to do like a family trip where everybody goes to some destination so in 2018 we had a family trip to Langano and Hawasa and this year we went to Bishoftu so in Bishoftu we stayed in Lisak I think that's how you pronounce it Lisak hotel it was a very very beautiful hotel you you can see my vlog of the hotel we had the most beautiful view of like this lake which was so nice they even had a swimming pool there but yeah, it was really nice. Um, we had celebrated some birthday parties there too. I have all of this in a vlog and it's actually like really a really 
good vlog so i'll link it for you guys to watch but yeah that was the name of the hotel so the next question is did you ever go out alone or were you always with elias no i actually did end up going out alone so before i answer this question though i'll say that being like a foreigner or someone who's not ethiopian like going into the country inadvertently makes you have a little bit of fear right because you're always like okay i can't go by myself or my new cell phone at the time the iphone 13 pro max they're like don't take your cell phone out in the streets don't be like flashy and like don't show off stuff that is expensive because you'll make yourself a target type of thing so that like that inadvertently kind of creates a fear in your head where you think irrationally i'll say that it's not safe but one day I was just like, I'm gonna go to the nail salon. <laughs> I swear. I wish Elias was here because I feel like this would be so much funnier if you could get both of our points of views. But yeah, one day I just wanted to go to the nail salon and I wanted to get me a nice massage and manicure and pedicure. And we had no car. I think Elias was gone actually. And I was like, you know, I know how to take the transportation. I know FedEx, like it's kind of like an Uber. I was like, I can call them and I can talk to them. And I know how to order it. And I know how to tell the people where I want to go. That's easy. And then when the driver came, I got in the car. He took me to the Rome beauty salon. I gave him a fat tip and I went and got my nails up. And then after that, I called Elias like, hey, <laughs> you got a big bill to, <laughs> to pay for. <laughs> Actually, I think that day Elias was with his friends. So he had his brother, Yabu, Yabuye, had to come and get me and paid for my bill. So shout out to Yabu. Thank you for that because that was an amazing day. The next question says, Amina, are you actually ready to live in Ethiopia? The answer to that question is yes. Like people always think that I can't do it because when you're born and raised in America, you're kind of used to certain things and they think that you're spoiled and stuff. Although I do enjoy having electricity, water, and internet, it's not a must. Okay, it is a must if I have to work, but I definitely could. And actually what people don't know is that I have a higher quality of life li when I'm in Ethiopia than I do in the uh, US. Why do you guys think I love being there so much? Me and Elias are like kings and queens when we go there because the US dollar goes a long way over there. But here, we just average Americans, you know? <laughs> So, of course I would live in Ethiopia. That's not like, I'm trying to figure out how I can do my job over there. Because A, we'll be living a much better, higher quality of life. B, I'll be in a place that has natural, organic food, which is so important to me. And C... <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. Okay. So are you and Elias going to build a house in Ethiopia? So ultimately that would be the plan. Now, obviously before living there, I would want some sort of stability in the country. I think that's one of the biggest things. Since we don't have anything right now, what I will show you is I will show you Elias's brother who built a house there and how that house looks because that house is beautiful. This is the first floor, but in the US it'd be the second floor. <laughs> oh yeah. This is in the, the second US, this floor. The second floor. Living room and kitchen. Open kitchen. Cool. So this would be the third floor. <laughs> oh okay. Your dad's office. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Looks like it's very much like it's very small. Oh it's big for the office. Maybe? Yeah. Actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a big enough, yeah. You, you don't need a big room for all You don't need it, yeah. And this is the master bedroom. Master bedroom. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. I like the floor. Master bedroom. Oh, this is the dressing room. And that's wow. Look at the what master bathroom. Wow. It's so big. So big and nice. So big and jacuzzi. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jacuzzi. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, this one is really big. Really? Yeah. Big. I like this style. It's cool. It's yeah. Like protection. Are these apartments in front of you guys? No, the house. The house. Oh, it's a house? Yeah. 
sunk upon me. Maybe. So, this is three stories up, and there's still more, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fourth floor. Let's go. This is a restaurant? Guest. Oh, the guest room. Yeah. The guest room? Yeah. The bed is going to be tiny, but yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Whoa, this, wow. this is huge. This is like the cutest for you. Yeah. Let's look at how high we are now. Oh my gosh. What if I drop my phone? <laughs> that would be the end. Sink, shower, and toilet. This is the bedroom. Nice. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> he loved it. Already. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Oh, nice. Wow. What did you like better, Unity Park or Friendship Park? So I actually have vlogs on both of these. They're the same area, but they're completely two different things. Friendship Park is like a renovated area in Addis Ababa that used to be like nothing. It used to just be like dirt and land and they completely renovated it to look so beautiful. And it, because of the location, you kind of can look at the entire 360 view of the city of Addis Ababa and it is so beautiful. Every angle that you look at is a beautiful freaking view. When I say beautiful guys, Addis Ababa, one thing that I really love about Ethiopia and Addis Ababa in general, it's so mountainous. They have so many mountains. I realize I love mountains. Mountains are so cool. They're so beautiful, man. I don't know if it's because like I'm from Khartoum, Sudan, a desert and it's flat. And also like where I live in Dallas, kind of flat. Like I've never seen mountains in my life. So like being in Ethiopia and being around mountains to me is so cool. I'm always pointing out the mountains. I'm like, oh my God, look at that mountain. Look at that mountain. <laughs> and I noticed like Elias's family is like not phased. They're like, it's a mountain, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm from the desert. We don't get to see stuff like this. But yeah, <laughs> I got off track. So the views. Friendship Park has amazing views of the city. 360 views and a lot of really nice, like, picture worth. Like, you can go there and take a lot of really nice pictures. And Friendship Park has a water show every single night. And that thing is huge man i feel like it's bigger than the water show in in dubai even like it is so big and it is so nice you guys can watch my vlog of that water show so freaking amazing that was like one of the coolest things that i've ever seen unity park is a little bit different because unity park is more so like a historical thing but the really cool thing about unity park was they have wax figures of both uh, Menelik and Haile Selassie. That was really cool. And those wax figures are really lifelike, kind of eerie. Like, yeah, they're, they're legit. And if you are like me and you do enjoy history, which most, most people don't, most people don't care about history. But if you're like me, it's a nice place to go and kind of see some of the history. Also, they have a whole zoo where they have a lot of exotic animals. So it's a good place to take family for sure. Both of those places are like really fun and very tour touristy things I'll say to do. So <laughs> what was the biggest changes that you noticed about Ethiopia this time? A lot of things because we had been to Ethiopia in 2018. So it was four years and the country changed immensely. I will say in construction, like that is the biggest thing, much more modernized because there's a lot more buildings. When I say buildings, thousands, probably um, for real, probably in the thousands, thousands of new buildings are being constructed. Tall buildings too, not just like little puny, like no, they're tall buildings. And actually like a part of downtown, which I think Bole is downtown Ethiopia, downtown Addis Ababa, but you guys let me know. Isn't Bole like downtown? What else would be downtown in Addis Ababa? But yeah, like there's a certain part of Bole that legitimately looks like you're in a Western country because the buildings are that nice. Like they're these glass mirrored, newly constructed buildings that are really beautiful. So yeah, the construction was really like 
taken over all right that's all the answer that's all i'm gonna answer right now because i've literally been recording this video for almost an, an hour oh my gosh and you guys will see Elias some more too don't worry it's not only going to be me it's just i have to find a time where he's available because we literally have opposite shifts when i work he sleeps and when he works i sleep it's literally the opposite but i will do more videos with him because i know you guys love us together and i do too i feel like it's funner when you get to bounce off of somebody else you know but yeah that's it for this video i'll see you guys very very soon bye ciao <laughs>